Hey guys! So I did a holiday look. It's different shades of gold and silver. This is what it looks like. Um, I hope you really like it. Please let me know what you think. Comment, rate, and subscribe. And if you want to know how to recreate this look, just keep watching. Thanks guys! Bye! Okay, so I'm going to start off by priming my eyes with Urban Decay Primer Potion. You want to make sure you prime your eyes every single time you do your makeup. Um, because you need something for the eyeshadow to stick to. This primer really, really works. I um, was like ranting about it in another video. You really don't need a lot. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do, and I'm so excited because I get to use my Jessie's Girl Cosmetics for this, is I'm gonna take an eyeshadow brush and this color, this is called Sunstone by Jessie's Girl. I hope it's focusing. Um, and I'm just going to press that into the shadow right here. And you want to tap off a lot of excess, okay? I'm sorry, I sound like a smoker. I'm kind of sick. I apologize. I don't smoke. And I'm just going to pat it all over the eyelid. Just the eyelid, not any farther up, because there's no point, because I'm going to be using another color um, in the crease which means there would really be no point in putting this any farther than the lid. And you are going to get some fallout, but that's okay. Alright, after that I'm going to take a pencil brush. It's just a generic one. I can't wait for my um, Sigma brushes to come in because I am so excited. They're like such good brushes. Okay, so I'm going to use a pencil brush and this is called um, Penny Arcade and it's gorgeous. It's so sparkly. It's so sparkly. And so I'm just going to get that on the end of my brush. This one will create a lot of fallout. So I am tapping it off as much as I possibly can. Okay. And I'm just going to put it in my crease. So I'm going to start over here. And I'm just going to blend it. It's okay if it's kind of harsh at first. Um, we're going to fix that up later. I'm going to take, um, okay, this is for the purpose of getting the silver to stick as well because if you put uh, loose powders over loose powders, they might not stick as well. So I'm just going to take this NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Pots and Pans. Looks like that. And I'm going to put it in the crease. I'm, this does not have to be clean or neat or anything like that. I'm just going to put it in the crease. This is just to have something to stick to. And you can choose whether or not you want to do this. This is completely optional. So you can keep it like that, but that kind of doesn't, I don't know, I don't really like it. So I'm going to take um, Hi-Ho Silver and my pencil brush. I'm just going to go over it. See how it sticks? It sticks so much better. And I'm going to take that a bit farther into the crease. next thing I'm going to do is take Sparkle Gold, looks like this. I'm going to take the same pencil brush. I'm rubbing it off on a sock, which I shouldn't be doing. I should be rubbing it off on like a towel or a napkin or something, but it's on a white sock, so it'll never come out just in between um, my applications. So I'm going to take a pencil brush and this color, and I'm going to put it in my tear duct around the inside corner of my eye. And I'm also going to bring it underneath and around my, underneath my lower lash line. I'm just going to press that in. I hope you can see this, oh goodness. Okay, so after that, I'm going to take the Sunstone color once again, and I'm just using the same brush. Before I was using uh, an eyeshadow brush, but it really doesn't matter. If you wipe it off in between, so I don't even know if this is going to work. I'm going to take Sunstone and re-brush um, it on my lid. Because you want to make sure you don't lose that Sunstone color. And again, it would have been easier if I had used a normal eyeshadow brush for this. So I apologize for using the pencil brush. I wasn't really thinking. And um, after that, I'm going to take Penny Arcade again. 
top it off. And I'm just going to run it kind of over the um, high ho silver just to warm it up. Okay, so I'm just doing that. This is a lot of going over colors, but that's how you're going to get this look. Oh my gosh, I'm totally losing my voice. Okay, and if you want to just take some more of that, um, I keep on wanting to call it Black Star Blue. That's another color uh, that I don't have, actually. Um, if you want to take more of that Hi Ho Silver or any silver color that you have, then just go over it. I'm going over it in the corner. And for the brow bone color, I'm going to use something from my Coastal Scents palette. I'm going to use this one right here, the fourth one down. Hope you can see this. Fourth one down. I'm just going to line underneath my eyes, or my eyebrows. <laughs> for eyeliner, I'm using Marcel Waterproof Eyeliner in Espresso. It's a very nice color. I'm just going to line the top of my eyes. Um, you can line the bottom if you want, but I'm not I'm not going to be lining the bottom. And if you ever want to make the or create the illusion of a thicker lash line, you'll want to lift your eyelashes up and line your waterline, which is the little flap skin under here, but I'm not going to do that. I just thought I'd let you know. <laughs> I think I'm all done, and I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply mascara. And this is L'Oreal Telescopic Explosion. It's the ball. It's quite good. And when you are applying mascara um, to get a better mascara look, you will want to take your um, wand, first of all, and place it on top of the lashes. Just pull it out and then go underneath, which means that it is coating all the lashes. And I'm also going to put mascara on the bottom lashes. Again, this is something that you don't have to do. You can put eyeliner and not mascara, or eyeliner and mascara, or just mascara, or nothing at all. <laughs> it's completely up to you. Of course. I don't really need to tell you that. It's completely up to you. And we are all done. What I used for blush was um, NYX eyeshadow, actually. This one right here, this color. And I just put it right on the apples of my cheeks. For lip gloss, I first used Soft Lips. I have no idea where it went. I used Soft Lips in Honeydew Melon, just lip balm. And then I used Mary Kay Signature Nourishine Lip Gloss in Gold Rush. And I hope you guys have a great day. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Of course, because I really want to know what you think. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. See you guys later. Bye!